goodness, but for goodness, God will change his name of God's grace in the national ministry. And I'm here to share with you a topic caption, the greatest empowerment. The greatest empowerment. Before we proceed, can we have just have a word of prayer? Father, we give you the praise, give you the honor, spirit of the living God, and be you that after this day would have the cause to glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sir, in life, people need empowerment. Men need to be empowered. In business, they need to be empowered. Educationally, they need to be empowered. Economically, people need to be empowered. But I'm here to share with you the greatest empowerment. Before we proceed, I could I would love to tell you types and, and kinds of empowerment. We have the economical empowerment, we have the educational empowerment, we have the political empowerment. These are the secular kinds of empowerment. But I'm here to teach you or to tell you the greatest empowerment. What is the greatest empowerment? I'll need to define what empowerment is. Empowerment is an enhancement in your field of study. Empowerment. Empowerment. To be empowered, it needs a force. There needs to be a supernatural force beyond your own natural level. To be empowered, you need a force. I need to tell you tell you give you the holy ghost empowerment the greatest empowerment is the holy ghost empowerment the bible says in the book of chapter um, acts chapter 10 verse 38 it says how god anointed jesus christ of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and he went about doing good jesus needed to be empowered to proceed in ministry jesus stayed for 30 good years without that holy ghost empowerment without that greatest empowerment until the beginning of his ministry. The Bible says in Acts of the 10 verse 30, it's how God himself anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good. For you to do good, you need this greatest empowerment. For you to do good, for you to do well in life, for you to do exceedingly, for you to be supernatural in nature, you need this greatest empowerment. You need the Holy Ghost empowerment. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, And you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall receive power. The greatest empowerment in life is that of the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost empowers a man, you become a bulldozer to cross many rubbish. You become a bulldozer cross to, to, that can cross many nations. You become an airplane that flies without limit. The sky becomes your beginning point because you've been empowered by a supernatural force called the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the greatest empowerment. We need the Holy Ghost to travel. We need the Holy Ghost to prevail. We need the Holy Ghost to win. We need the Holy Ghost to work more. We need the Holy Ghost to receive grace. Once there is the power of the Holy Ghost in a man, you can travel far and near. While in Nigeria, you can go to America while in Nigeria because you've been empowered of the Holy Ghost. We have an example of of one of the apostles, Philip in the Bible, who traveled, who teleported while in a place. He, he can travel by disappearing from one place to another. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost makes your shadow become a healer. Makes your shadow become a healer. The shadow of Peter was healing the sick. It was healing, he kept on healing the sick. As he crossed by, the sick got healed because he was empowered by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost empowerment is the greatest. Be you in business, you need the Holy Ghost to empower you, to give you, to give you direct and precise, precise uh, directions on what to do, what to sell, how to sell, and where to sell. Once you receive this Holy Ghost empowerment, life becomes easy. Life becomes easy. We, we are created not to make mistakes. We are created to be directed by the power of the Holy Ghost. But because we've left that path, we, but because we've left that path, that, 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 that way that the Lord has made available for us, that is why we keep making mistakes as men and women. But once we can make inquiries, the Bible says, and David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue? Will I overtake? The Spirit of God has been in existence before the new dispensation, before the grace dispensation. The Spirit of the Lord has been in existence. David had to ask and inquire of the Lord, shall I pursue? Will I overtake? And the Spirit of God ministered to him, he said, pursue, 
For without faith, you shall overtake and you shall recover all. We need the Holy Ghost empowerment. David won battles. He won battles and battles and over battles and over and, and over again. He kept on winning battles just because he would always inquire of the Lord. The Spirit of God was called the Lord at that dispensation of law. But in this dispensation of, of grace, when the outpouring, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 32 verse 15, it says, until the Spirit of the Lord is poured upon you from on high, your wilderness will not become a fruitful field, and the fruitful field will not become a forest. But until, until you receive this power from on high, you can now say that you've been empowered of the Holy Ghost. The greatest empowerment in life is the, is the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Once you are empowered by the Spirit of the Lord, you can do the supernatural in the natural. You can heal the sick. Everybody needs to be empowered by this great force. You mustn't be a pastor. You mustn't be an apostle. You mustn't receive a call. You mustn't be called of God. You mustn't be a minister. You mustn't be an evangelist. You can be a businessman, but you are empowered by the Spirit of the Lord. That is where you begin to sell in a supernatural manner and you make your neighbors wonder because you are already a wonder. That is it. The Spirit of the Lord, when it comes upon a man, you become a wonder to be wondered. You become a wonder in your generation. You become a principality in your municipality. The greatest empowerment in life is needed in all walks of life. In all walks of life. When the Bible says that the Lord will bless the works of thy hand, that the Lord will bless the works of thy hand, it means that you need to receive the Spirit of the Lord to be blessed, to be blessed. When the Lord blesses your work, you have received this empowerment. And that's the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost empowerment is the greatest. Is the greatest. Is the greatest. When you receive this force, when you receive this move, the apostles did not move out. They did not launch out until they received power. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, it says, And you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. How do you receive this greatest empowerment? You need to wait upon the Lord. My Bible tells me that they that wait upon the Lord, they shall be like Mount Zion. They shall be unmovable. They shall move mountains. They shall do new things. They, 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 they shall mount up their, their, their wings like that of, of an eagle. Once you receive the Holy Ghost power, you can now be able to say, I am a child of God. You can launch out that day when the apostles received it as of a clothing tongues of fire. They went out, they won so many souls that they weren't even able to win. So, I urge you this morning, I declare upon your life that you receive the Spirit of the Lord, be empowered of the Spirit of the Lord, be empowered by this great force, and you will see life will be made easy. You are blessed. Wherever you are watching me from right now, I declare that you are healed, you, you, you that is sick, you are healed, you are blessed in your business, in your going out, in your coming in. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. We give you glory, Lord Jesus. We thank you for everything you've done for us. As we receive this greatest force as, a, as an empowerment, we declare that you help us do good. Help us do good. Help us go, go places. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for watching. I hope you imparted for prayers and counseling or to represent us in your country and or locality. You can reach us through the contact screen on your screen right now. God bless you. I remember your brother, Pastor Goodness. God bless you. Bye.